Minister, welcome to the Senate. And I now ask Senator Mar Devine to proceed with her comments. Can you have four minutes to outline your your, uh, uh, Minister uh, to the Chamber. Um, I believe you will be taking this on behalf of Minister Joe McHugh. Yeah. Um, I want to give a, a big Cade made of falsehood to the group, two groups in the uh, public gallery, As I Am, which is Autism Ireland, and the Crumlin Dublin 12 uh, Autism Parental Support Group doing Trojan work and raising awareness throughout our communities and throughout the country. Minister, this uh, commencement matter is on the back of the findings called Invisible Children, the survey on school absence and withdrawal in the autism community. It's a national scandal that the right to an education is out of reach for so many autistic children at primary and secondary level. Minister, I want to bring to your attention yesterday's prosecution of a parent who's jailed, actually finds herself in jail this morning, a mother in her 30s, for neglecting to send her children to school. And I put it to you, Minister, that one day you, perhaps not you personally, will be in the dock being prosecuted for the lack of education placements for autistic children in primary and secondary and also preschool um, by not allowing and not planning or giving space in our schools, in our education systems for the right to that education. Minister, I don't have an awful lot of time, but there are three, three areas I'd like to perhaps in your answer to address. Will the Minister ask NCSE to develop policy advice on school exclusion and school refusal? Will he also ask them to improve the level and quality of engagement CNOs are having with families, particularly families in crisis due to the issue of no, no placements? When the report was published on Monday, Minister, that's the uh, As I Am report, Invisible Children, your department said it was satisfied that there was enough suitable school places. Will the Minister accept here this morning that there is a shortage of autism classes and moreover a shortage of suitable placements in mainstream and special schools? And will the Minister commit to publishing plans for how every autistic child can access a suitable school placement for the next uh, academic year? Minister, we have ratified the United Nations uh, for People with Disabilities last year, late last year eventually, and we are not standing by it. The incidence of autism is thought to be in the region of 1 to 59, 60 children in this country. We are failing them, Minister. This government is failing them. And I would hope that in your response you will give us some succour, some assistance and support in instructing the schools and that they, they, they have the imprimatur, the Minister, to instruct schools. They don't have a choice if Minister instructs schools and said, you will have an ASD unit. That has not happened, and I don't know how far Minister McHugh is prepared to go, but the schools will need instruction, support, resources to allow our children grow up healthy, educated, happy, secure, and in their own communities, Minister, not to travel miles and miles away if they're lucky to be offered a place. Gormagut, I look forward to your response. Thank you, Minister. Thanks, Cahirlock, and uh, thank to, thanks to Senator Devine for raising this very important issue, and I will be taking this on behalf of Minister McHugh. I wish to firstly acknowledge the important role stakeholders like As I Am play in promoting education and inclusion of children in education. Minister McHugh recently met with As I Am and was impressed with its work. Officials are studying the report published yesterday, and the Minister will be discussing its recommendations with them. Enabling children with special education needs, including autism, to receive an education appropriately their needs is a priority for this government. At present, we are investing heavily in supporting our children with special education needs, such as 1.8 billion being spent annually, and about one in every five of education of five euro of the education budget is being used. This includes an allocation of over 300 million towards providing additional resources, especially specifically to support students with autism in schools. The number of ASD special classes for more than doubled in the last five years, from 511 in 2014 to 1,196 across the country. 
Now an additional 124 special schools provided for children with autism, autism are, are, are very much complex need and are very much complex needs. The work of the Department of Education and Skills in relation to special education is informed by evidence-based advice from the National Council for Special Education. The NCSE consultants extensively with stakeholders, including parents, experts and organisations like As I Am, who have provided useful insight into difficulties experienced by children and their families in, get, in having an education. The NCSE is currently developing advice for the Department of Education, provision in special classes and special schools. The Council is examining whether there are any students for whom both special, specialist and mainstream educational settings are currently not working and considered what might be contrib contributing to this. Schools are required to have policies in place for the promotion of students' well-being, positive behaviour and an evidence that is conductive to good teaching and learning. The trust of these policies in early intervention and provision of support so that every child receives an education appropriate to his, his or her abilities. Advice and support is available to, school, to help schools in this regard. The National Education Psychological Service supports children with ASD, including those with also present with anxiety. This involves working with teachers to build a whole school capacity on working with children with special education needs, including autism and anxiety. It has also involved working with individual children who are experiencing difficulties. There are legal provisions around the exclusion and expulsion of students, and they are, are the responsibility of TUSLE. Fair procedures are the key requirement. Expulsion should be the last resort and, re and reduced timetable should not be used as a behavioural management technique. Where students are excluded from schools, the department provides more tuition as a short home tuition as a short term measure until a more preventive solution is identified. The NCSE is aware of the recent demand for additional special classes and special school placement in the Dublin area. Planning is active is actively underway to ensure that children without a suitable placement for next year are provided with a suitable placement. We expect a clear picture to emerge in the coming weeks when schools have finalised their enrolment. The NCSE is dealing with work in this regard with significant support from the department. Responsibilities for ensuring all children have access to the suitable education is a shared responsibility. Minister McHugh is confident that through the work of the NCSE and the cooperation of schools, we can address the current difficulties. Brief supplementary, Senator Devine. Yeah, good morning. Thank you, Minister. Um, unfortunately, I suppose uh, I would have liked a more uh, assuring, I suppose, response, but thank you anyhow. Um, the Children's Ombudsman is overwhelmed. I've spoken at length with him about this issue, and he is overwhelmed, and he's considering what to do next. Minister, I, I, I would again reiterate, no, no, nobody should tolerate no place for a child in school. Never mind somebody with, uh, that comes with extra, extra needs. It's almost like they're a burden on the system. And partial schooling that's been offered uh, throughout the country is illegal. It is not. It is, goes against the law of the land. It is long overdue. This assessment um, that the national education the, are going to carry out, the, the council are going to carry out. But I just wonder when that's going to happen. When they're going to make a, an uplifting, uh, embracing, and um, worthwhile. Uh, announcement that this is what we'll do, but we will listen to the likes of parents that are in this uh, chamber today who are loud and will speak boldly and won't stop. This movement has commenced. I believe it is the next thing that we need to blow out of the water and lift the lid on and get a, an education suitable for our child. And we will get everybody involved, including the children's Obmansman, who has indicated his frustration at uh, the so many cases. There are solicitors in Cork take, to, uh, prepared to take cases for the assessment of need waitlist, but we could go on and on and on. But disability, and in this instance, autism is being left out in the cold. No longer will it happen. Gurmahagoth. Minister, briefly. Thank you, Hirlock. And um, I just want to uh, 
As post, I welcome the Dublin 12, and as I am group here, and as I said in the open statement from Minister McHugh, the Minister has already met as I am, and he's very confident that some of the uh, recommendations that they made as he reads the report will be, make significant difference in, in children's lives. Can I just read back again the last paragraph of the statement which I was given? Responsibility for ensuring all children have access to suitable education is a shared responsibility. Minister McHugh is very confident that through the work of the NCSE and cooperation of schools and principals and teachers, we can address current difficulties. I don't believe, as a public representative, as a Minister of State, that no, sh no child should not have access to education, no matter what their disability is. But I will continue to support the difficult that I see in my own role as a, a, a local TD, where young people and parents have problems with having their children access special classes in schools. So, Kian Carla, I will bring back to the Minister the relevant issues that Senator Devine has raised and raised them with him on a very clear basis when I meet him over the next over next week. So sure. thank this Senator again. Thanks. Yeah, the next item is Senator.